And if you don't know, just because you're having a period every month, that does not mean you're ovulating. So, hey, do y'all like my shirt? I literally wore this today because there's something I want to talk about. So I got my lovely little nothing shirt on because I want y'all to see my body. But, um, all right. Anyway, well, let's, let me uh, say my favorite line so we can get this video started. All right. Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Cree Marie, AKA the lady in the shoe. I got five kids and plenty of advice for you. And today we're talking about the benefits and the importance of taking folic acid as it relates to pregnancy. I will also share some common questions I have received about our best friend, AKA folic acid. These questions include, is it too late for me to start taking folic acid? And can folic acid help me get pregnant? We will address these in this video, but before we get started, I would like to say if you like to talk about sex, relationship, pregnancy, or motherhood, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm your woman. Oh, I got another one. That kind of rhymes. Subscribe button because I'm your woman. Yeah, <laughs> I like that one. So don't be don't be surprised. Y'all not like corny saying, so that might be in another video. <laughs> Anyways, I have great content that I will be dropping next week that you will love. So be sure and also be sure to stick around until the end of the video because I want to share something with you all. You know, hence the shirt. Maybe have to lower the camera. I want y'all to see what I'm working with here. All right, but let's talk about folic acid. Folic acid is taken in pregnancy to reduce the chances of your baby being born with a neural tube defect. And if you don't know what that is, I'm going to break it down for you. The neural tube is cells that divide and become the brain and the spinal cord of your baby. It forms in your uterus and closes between the 17th and the 30th day after conception. So in other words, that'll be four to six weeks after a woman's last menstrual period. Now that you know what the neural tube is, I'm going to explain to you what neural tube defects are. So neural tube defects are severe birth defects of the brain and the spine. Um, one example would be spina bifida, which is the most common. It affects approximately one out of every 1,000 newborns. That number is pretty large. So in order to reduce that number, we have our friend science to thank. So science taught us that taking at least 400 micrograms of folic acid daily can reduce these chances. So now let's talk about who's at risk. Pretty much anyone is capable of having a baby with a neural tube defect, but women are at an increased risk of having a baby with a neural tube defect. But, you know, I'm gonna stop saying neural tube defect and just say NTD, because that's short term, that's what it's called, an NTD. <laughs> so we'll just move on to the rest of the video with that for I'll be like, neural, neural, the whole video. They or their partner have a close relative who was born with the NTD, then they are at increased risk as well. Or if they have type one, which is insulin dependent diabetes, not gestational diabetes. So if you got it during your pregnancy, you're not at risk. But if you already had it coming into the pregnancy, then yes, you are at an increased risk. Now I'll answer some questions. Question one is, will folic acid help me get pregnant? Studies have suggested that folic acid may increase fertility because women who take multivitamins that contain folic acid are most likely to ovulate. So, you know, a lot of times when people are experiencing infertility it's because they're not ovulating. And if you don't know, just because you're having a period every month, that does not mean you're ovulating. Um, I don't want to get too deep into that, but I, if you if you want more on that, just drop it in the comment section and I'll probably drop a video on it. But, you know, if you're taking multivitamins with folic acid, you're most likely to ovulate. So in that state, yes, it can help you. So start taking folic acid at least two months prior to pregnancy or when you're trying to conceive. So if you want a baby, get to popping those pills. They're going to help the baby and they're going to they can help you conceive as well. So that's a yes to that question. Now, the last question, which is the one that I've heard the most is, is it too late for me to start taking folic acid if I'm over six weeks pregnant? It would have been better to start taking it two months prior to getting pregnant, but like I've stated in the previous video, uh, don't be alarmed because 45% of all pregnancies in the U.S. are unplanned. Um, you know, so, sometimes things just don't work out that way and that is fine. So it's obviously not possible for everyone to start doing that if 45% of pregnancies around here are unplanned. So, you know, you can't start taking this pill if you don't know, right? But luckily the baby's spine is still forming up until 12 weeks and most people find out they're pregnant. Well, not most people, I'm lying. <laughs> Let's be exact. 45% of people who had those unplanned pregnancies find out around six weeks. So, cause that's the point where they probably would have missed their period and something going on. Cause we in the next month and ain't nothing happened down there. So, <laughs> um, so basically the baby's spine is still forming up to 12 weeks. So take them. And yes, your little one will still be at a higher risk for NTD. But folic acid, you know, will still help them. 
Now what I wanted to address in this video, because in the last video I talked a lot about stretch marks and I showed you guys the pictures. Uh, I'll probably insert them in here again so you can see them again. And someone was saying, oh, you know, they asked me, well, what did you do for your body? What did you do? What did you do? And I just want to, you know, be transparent. And I just wanted to show you guys what I was working with. So this is me after five kids. And I wanted to show you guys this because... Again, like I said... I want it to be transparent and so when I start this challenge of showing you guys how to get rid of the stretch marks and everything I just want to make sure you guys see me in a better light than you know with the pictures that I took I just want to show y'all I got work to do too 